NFTs are so popular right now, and there are so many different marketplaces across all the different networks. We recently did a video on how you can get the NFTs of a user from the Polygon network or the Matic chain. And there's another video on how to do that for Ethereum. And today I want to show you how to get all the NFTs of a user on the Binance smart chain and have it return them in a list. And we can do that with a very simple application with just a couple of lines of code from the Morales software development kit. Now, what you do with that information makes this space so exciting. And there are so many different development possibilities and use cases. My name's Chris at Morales. Our job is to help you level up your developments and build cross-chain dApps faster. We want to solve the bottlenecks in your application by providing the tools that you need. Make sure you join the Discord channel if you want to see something specific. And let's get started with the content. Now, as normal, we'll get started with a fresh HTML file we're going to call it get nfts on bsc and this is using visual studio code and i have the live extension sorry the live server extension installed i'm going to get the boilerplate code from docs.morales.io scrolling down to build a simple dap in three minutes copy and paste that into visual studio code i'll save that and then i'll run that with the live server we'll change the title we're going to change this button to an input field and we'll change this to a search button which has a function on it so as soon as we click that it will grab whatever address we put in here and then retrieve that information from whatever marketplace we decide to use as far as marketplaces we're going to look at airnfts.com and let's just go and find an artist alien television sounds like a good name we'll go with that and we're going to use this contract address or this user address here. You can also get it from the URL and uh, we'll come back to that in a moment. Bakery Swap is another one that you could grab. So there's some featured artists that you could maybe go into here. Uh, you could grab one of these addresses. The different marketplaces, you might have to find where those addresses are. Okay, so back into the app, we'll just change this to BSC NFT demo. Uh, we said we were going to change this one to be an input field and so we will need to give this an id and the id that we'll give that is just literally what it is input the address and the second one we said we were going to choose to be the search nft but when we click that we're going to get it to run a function which we haven't written yet so we'll come back to that but we'll call the function get nft and we'll call the button search NFT. Okay, and in our script, that's where we'll start writing our function. Next thing we need to do is connect to our server. Now I've done this before a few times. You may or may not have done it already. If you haven't, go to morales.io, create an account, log in, and on the server section, create a new app. Give it a name, choose your region, choose mainnet, and uh, click the chains, add the instance, and wait for the server to load. Once it has, click on the details and get the server URL and the application ID and copy that information into your application. Now, by the time you view this video, uh, that information that's on the screen in front of you now, I would have deleted that app or deleted that server. So um, please don't use that information. Use your own one. OK, so I've copied that off of my clipboard that I already had and that has connected our server. So the next thing we need to do is go and get our code to collect the information, the NFT information. So back to the docs.morales.io and we'll scroll up to the NFT balances. We've used this code before in the Polygon video, so we'll use it again for this one and we'll just make a change to that. So we come back to our app and we'll paste that in here. And how do we use it? Well. In the, uh, in the documentation, it says that this particular function will get all NFTs of a current user or the current user or an address. That's what we're going to do. It supports both ERC721 and ERC1155, and it returns an array of NFT objects asynchronous. So what we need to do is wrap this into an asynchronous function. We've already got a name for it because we've attached it to this button here. So that will be this and let's go and put that code inside our function. 
Now, once it runs this at the moment, it's going to be why well, it's called Polygon NFT. So we'll just change that to BSC NFTs. Uh, it's going to pass an object of options into a Morales function. It's going to await morales.web3.getNFTs and pass that options uh, object in. And at the minute, the options are that it's searching the chain of Matic, which we need to change to BSC for Binance Smart Chain. And it's going to pass an address. Now you can put in a hard coded address if you like, but we actually want to pass it whatever we put in here. So we're going to need to grab that from our field. So at the beginning of our app or beginning of our function, we need to create a new variable called search address. And for that, we'll go and get the element by the ID of input address. And we need its value and there we go so that will save whatever address we put in our search box into this and we may as well pass that in as our option there we go and once it returns what are we going to do with that information well at the minute it's going to save that information into a variable called polygon nfts let's just call it bsc nfts <laughs> lots of capital letters there but uh, it still makes sense and we'll just pass that as a console log uh, to put that variable in front of us. And we'll save that and let's see if it works. Okay, now we mentioned we would use alien television address. So let's go back to airnfts.com and copy that, paste it into our app and click search. Let's go and have a look at the console log, see what we get back. And there you go. So there's an array of 67 items here and there's all different bits of information within each one, the amount, contract type, name, etc., etc. You've got the token address, token ID, and a token URI where there is some metadata. And it's the same for all of the others as well. So we could, for example, go and have a look and see what this provides. And it gives us a JSON object with a name, a description, uh, the image, all of which we could go and fetch in our application and then use and put that information onto the front end of our application. We'll take a look at how you would do that in a different video for today. I just wanted to show you how you would use the Morales code to pull this information into that array for you. And from here, what you would then do is loop through this array and then you would start to fetch the token URI to convert that information into data you can use and activate onto the front end of your website. But that is how you would use Morales to fetch an array of a user's NFTs from the Binance Smart Chain. And it's what you do with that information that we're really looking forward to seeing. I hope that was useful, guys. If it was, leave a like on the video. And if there's something specific that you want to see, put it in the comments. And we look forward to hearing from you guys very soon. See you in the next few videos.